Hello there. I would like to read something short from the poetry performance of my collection book, chapter 48, volume 2. It's a cat poem. <laughs> if you've ever heard it before, this is called On All Fours. You sit and you work at your desk when you're home. It's like you're not here when you're here, when you're lost in your work. But I've noticed one thing. Whenever the cat comes around your desk, struts around your leg, maybe meows, you stop what you're doing and you give him some attention. Sometimes the cat will even jump up on your desk, put his paw on your book you're reading to see if he'll scratch him behind his ears. So, I wonder if this is what I have to do. I'll crawl around to your desk on all fours, rub my head against your leg to see if you'll stop your work for me. I have two newer ones here for you. <clears throat> ah, this was written at, just so that you guys know, because there's no special date, but it was written on the closing date of when we bought our home here in Austin. And it is called Join Me. Not unlike an uprooted plant, my leaves have been wilting since I've been extracted from the only home, my only home, and then transplanted over a thousand miles away. This land's parched like my now exposed roots, which are writhing, searching for nourishment once again. Everyone tells me to relax here, get comfortable, like they know this is where I'm now forced to stay, because they know that now I have no choice. So I do what I'm told, just like a good little girl is supposed to do, and I search for a place where I, for once, can call my own. And what I've found is just the bare bones, but nothing is a home until I make my mark and pour my soul into these rooms and make a house a home. But I'm here, things are only starting to fall in place. But now that I'm here, I was wondering if you'd come join me. Maybe I'll set up a table and find some silverware from boxes that still need to be unpacked. There's no working electricity, so maybe we can just light some candles and celebrate in the dark with champagne. Who knows, maybe a stray cat will come over to the window to check us out. Because I've been uprooted, you see, and I've been looking for a place I could call my own. Let's step outside, because even now more stars are looking out for me, and my favorite hunter is right outside when I step outside my room front door, maybe gaining strength from me as I gain strength from him. Since I've been uprooted, I have needed that strength I find in the night sky, the one constant thing in my now uprooted life. So please, my roots are searching for water. My veins now squirm, trying to find a new home. So I will ask you nicely. I'll stand on my tippy toes, and I'll raise the pitch of my voice like whenever I'm asking for something. Please, join me. I'm searching for a place to call my own. I'm searching for a place that I can make my home. I'm all alone here, so please join me. <clears throat> I usually look for things that are holidays, so you can guess when I wrote this one. It's called March 4th. And it's not F-O-U-R-T-H, it's March F-O-R-T, it's March 4th. When things seem to be their worst, March 4th, and try to make a difference. After you've counseled rape victims, fought for women's rights, come together in a take back the night rally, march forth to support women's rights, to feel safe when walking home alone outside at night without needing any man by their side. March forth when you see a political injustice in how a government treats its citizens, even if it means you have to stand in a square and confront an armed tank by yourself. March forth for your rights to give you strength and hope the government notices. Collect money from supporters and march forth to help your loved ones who suffer with breast cancer, diabetes, ALS, AIDS. 
Even feel free to march forth confidently into your boss's office as a woman when you know you deserve more pay for better than equal work amongst your male co-workers. March forth to get answers when your family hides truths from you that you are positive you have the right to know. It may torture to you to learn things you don't want to believe, but knowing the truth is worth a thousand marches because this is the most dignified, the most stable, and even the most healthy way to start to make change. Thank you.